This was her clean clothes, I know that. Sorry. <laughs> this is what she takes to the laundromat. All right. So this is supposed to be clean clothes in here. You see this? This is seven dust on here. Yeah. Because she had fleas in here and told me to go buy seven dust that you throw in the yard to come throw in the house. So we keep So that? to get rid of the fleas. Keeping this? Instead of, she said, pack it all. It's clothes, pack it. What the? Oh, look, all these dishes. And she's worried about throwing away the stupid turntable of dirty dishes in the kitchen. And she's got all this new stuff right here. Look, yeah, that's where you keep your dishes. On top of the bed. How many roosters does she have? Uh, what is this, another? Oh, God. Big Daddy rooster. How many do you need? Oh, jeez. OK, where's okay. my other mug that the plants were in? It was right here. Desra, yeah. that red mug that you just cleaned out? This box right here, darling. Oh, OK. Wait, did you just ask for something, and did we find it? Y yeah, I'll say yes, we did. Yeah, I'll we answer, did. yes. <sighs> so Jason, is there anything good, bad, ugly, happy, sad that you want to say about your mother or to your mother? Her son, Jason, because he was removed from the home, there will be some feelings of shame and embarrassment. And that is something that also plagues people who do hoard. They're not so much ashamed of how much they have. They're more ashamed of the outcome of that. You gave me the thing that I think is the most important thing about my life, and that's um, from an early age. You encouraged my interest in uh, nature, science, and animals. And um, that has been the most formative thing about me. And a lot of people had parents that don't encourage them in those interests. And you did that for me. Thank you. Thank you. And I love you. And I miss you. <laughs>